So I'll start by sitting comfortably in a relatively upright position, closing my eyes if appropriate, and just bringing my awareness to my breath. Becoming aware of the in-breath. The out-breath. And the spaces in between. Just taking a moment to let go of any worldly concerns and just be with the breath allowing its wave-like motion to calm and settle my mind. Now, as well as the breath, I start to become aware of the sensations in my body, starting at the feet. I become more aware of the sensations of my feet, the feel of my shoe around them, the feel of my feet contacting and pushing into the floor. Now moving up through my shins and into my thighs, I become more aware of the sensations in my legs. Maintaining a connection to my feet, I expand this now into my legs and my whole lower body. Becoming also aware of the feel of the seat against my thighs. Now moving up into my pelvis and the trunk of my body, my back, chest and shoulders, as well as maintaining the feeling of sensation in my lower body, I now expand my awareness to include my upper body. Moving down my arms and into my hands, feeling whatever they are in contact with, whether it's each other or the arms of the chair or my thighs.
Finally, I expand out further so that my awareness encompasses the sensations of my neck and head. Now taking in all the sensations of the physical body as well as the breath. I can also become aware of any sounds around me. Clocks ticking, birds singing, the sound of the wind, bringing this also into my field of awareness. This process is not the meditation itself, rather it is forming the foundation, acting to establish a strong anchor in the physical world so that in a moment I can drop back into a deeper place in consciousness, into the place I go when I fall asleep, without actually falling asleep. So to start to make that journey, I start to become more aware of my thoughts, rising and falling in my mind. I'm not losing the connection to my physical body, but I am extending my awareness to include my thoughts, seeing them also as things arising in the phenomenal world. I am not trying to stop them or change them in any way. I'm just becoming aware of them as they are, watching them rise and fall, observing them. And now I'm becoming increasingly aware of the thing which my thoughts are arising out of and falling back into, the dark, spacious consciousness that encompasses them. Having established an anchor in the world, I'm now going to let go into that consciousness, the place where we go when we fall asleep. I just start to let go and fall into it, exactly as I would if I were falling into sleep, 
sinking back into its depths. At some point, this stops being a task that I can carry out. Just as in the act of falling asleep, the I falls away as we dissolve into our own conscious depths. So here, my sense of myself as a separate individual falls away as I dissolve into the depths of being. As I sink back more into these depths, more into the sleep state, at some stage I will start to experience myself actually drifting off and becoming unconscious, falling asleep. When this happens, I simply move my awareness back out into the world more, back onto the physical sensations of the body and the breath, re-establishing my anchor in the world and when I feel sufficiently conscious again, I can allow myself to sink backwards once more. I may use the in-breath to draw myself out into the world while sinking back into the depths of being on the out-breath, allowing my awareness to undulate between the two, expanding into the two different directions at once. And now, I'll just rest here for a moment in this clear and deep consciousness, abiding in the depths of the self. Now, I can abide here for as long as I wish, but when I want to come back into the world, I might just start by opening my eyes and looking out from this place of deep consciousness, observing how things appear from this perspective, how the world appears differently. And from here, there is no need to do anything to bring myself back around. I'm already fully awake, more awake than normal. I can just carry on with my day, doing whatever I am doing, interacting with whomever I am interacting with, just doing all this whilst also dropping backwards into the depths of consciousness. If at any point I want to reconnect with this, I can do so by simply falling back into it, just as I would if I were falling asleep. <laughs> 